<laughs> oh, yo, this chapter was hype AF lit. Amazing, 10 out of 10. Let's get to this actual analysis of this chapter. And so we get this epic fight between Arima and Sachi. I just was straight in the beginning of this chapter and seeing those ropes come out of this, it made me just think of Attack on Titan. Dun -dun 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 -dun. We just saw Arima go savage mode and just come in there and take some names and take Sachi down so easily. And this whole Sachi flashback thing saying he'll protect Rize no matter what. And even if Rize is a complete and utter savage and eating people, he doesn't care. That's still his child. He still cares for Rize. He still has feelings for Rize. And it doesn't matter how insane your child goes, you will always care for them. And that's something I think he was trying to put down solid in this chapter. After saying that, we see him go in and try and find the blind spot behind Arima. And Arima, going in like a boss, doesn't even look behind him. Dab Sachi, uses his little thunderbolt and explodes. Oh my god, I can't take it. The hype is too real, man. The hype is too real. And that was only the beginning of the chapter. If that was it, I would have been happy, but we got even more. All right, so we also get a little bit on the cues and what the cues are up to. Not much. Looked like they were just doing some training and Yori still trying to build up his strength, still trying to go for numero uno, still going up the ranks. And then we get Kaneki coming in there. And now, yes, there wasn't any music or anything going on in there, but the tension you could feel in that panel, really, you could tell there was not some sentimental feelings toward Kaneki that Yuri had. He realized like, why are you here? You you just weren't savage and you didn't save Shizaru and you really just abandoned us. Why are you here? In the chapter, we also get him saying, please go save Mutsuki. I still care for you guys. Yes, I may have changed. Yes, I may have become a complete and utter savage like Arima, but you Haize is still here. The Haize you used to know, part of him, Part of him is still there. Yes, I still have feelings and do care for you. Now, first off, shout out to Luna Sensei. I will link his channel in the description. And he actually predicted that there was going to be a save Hinami arc while the Rue Island arc was going to happen. So you guys can go check out his channel. I believe it was chapter 59 or 60 where he talked about that. And personally, I did not believe that a save Hinami arc was coming, but that's amazing that he could predict that. And in reality, it's going to be epic AF. And we also got to see Banjo there. And Banjo, we know he's kind of there for a little bit of comedic relief because he didn't understand those big words that were in the book. But I think he just got the point across that there is a one-eyed king. And whoever this one-eyed king is, is going to be a very important character. And as we saw in this chapter and what we have seen in the past chapters, I still believe that the three representatives that could be the one-eyed king will be Arima, Furuta, Furuta, well, we're gonna talk about Furuta in a minute. And of course, Kana, what they're talking about with uh, Arima is that he is just a doll for the washus. And I don't, I'm not sure what that means. I always thought that Arima was the highest up, the highest there was, but is there someone stronger in the washu family? I highly doubt it, but what I read from this is there might be. I doubt it though, as I said, but you never know with Tokyo Ghoul. We had some info with Ayato and some, especially some development with his character and seeing that he actually cares for other people and he's not just a soulless person that tries to eat his sister and kill everybody, but he actually cares and he wants to go save Hinami. Seeing Hinami was actually forced into Al Giddy Tree, he actually wants to go and try and save her, which I I really didn't expect. I thought Ayato might go and force them to work with Al Giddy to work with them or something like that. Uh, but uh, this is going to be extremely interesting seeing Ayato and Banjo's group team up. Now, now it's going to be especially interesting since they haven't previously worked together and that when they went to go save Kaneki from Jason, they were on opposite sides and now working together to save Hinami. This is probably gonna be something interesting and a shocker to Kaneki himself since he's going to be the one protecting Coachella. Seeing Kaneki there and ooh, seeing Ayato. We get a round two. Ayato versus Kaneki round two. I don't know about you guys, but I am hyped to see that. Obviously, I think Kaneki is going to win this. It takes some names and just takes some people down whoever tries to go in Coachella. And seeing that is going to be his old friends that were in his old group with him 
post the Jason incident. It's going to be very interesting and see, seeing what happens there, it's gonna be very different. Now the last panel I think got everybody. And I do have to say that I, I think I expected this a little bit. I may not have called it, but I kind of had a feeling in the back of my mind, but I wasn't sure. And seeing that Furuta is a clown and Eto knows this, oh, this is going to get dangerous. Yes, they may be laughing in this last panel, but this just means like, I, I, I just want to kill you. I don't care. I just want to kill you right now. I don't care about anybody else. And not only that, it was very interesting, like, seeing that Furuto was a clown, and I did see this since he is a backstabber and he does betray both sides. And does that mean Furuto is a ghoul himself? Why haven't we seen any of his ghoul abilities yet, bro? We need to see some of those ghoul abilities. I want to mention this real quick, though. They did have the ghoul's rights, the civil service for ghouls. They want equal rights for ghouls. And that's going to be something interesting since they've always hated ghouls and there's people that hate ghouls and there's people that work with ghouls. There's so many different sides here. It's hard to keep up for me, myself. But it was overall just a lit chapter and seeing that now they want ghouls right. We got Arima taking down Sachi. We have Kaneki still carrying a little bit but going after Ayato. Kaneki versus Ayato round two. And finally finding out that Furuta is a clown and possibly may kill Eto next chapter. Alright guys, tell me your thoughts on this week's chapter. Make sure to like, comment, and click that subscribe button. And peace out guys. This chapter was lit.